Yeah, hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Uluwashem Kalaonde. I talk about product management, leadership, as well as tech career. So today we are talking about something very important to product managers, which is actually the use of chat GPT. So what is chat GPT? Why should they use chat GPT? Really? Is it very necessary for them to use? Now, let me just tell you a simple story. So there was a time I wanted to you know, get someone to just assist me more like a PA thing and um, everything I just wanted to do because I had a lot to do at that time I knew I I was supposed to just have someone who would help me to do some other things you know doing my own personal business running my business and also working with other startups and also different projects that I have deployed myself into I just but needed an ass assistance which you could call a PA but then ChatGPT came into the space and i saw that okay i just got into chat gpt at that day uh at, at that time i just saw like okay what can i do with this chat gpt i saw what i could do i was really amazed because the likes of emails the likes of doing so many things a product manager would do on a normal day because this is actually the kind of role that you take that has you to wear multiple hats and because you are wearing multiple hats trust me you have a lot to do part time so you need someone that will just really help you if you can you will really be very happy to have one person now let me put a balance into the use of chat gpt there have been sort of uh, things around don't use chat, chat gpt too much because you use it too much you, you you become lazy and you're not able to be productive at all the use of these tools is actually not for you to be lazy as a product manager rather it's to help you to become more effective at what you do imagine the the essence of technology which is to make our life easier which is to build on uh, things to make our work easier so if an event is supposed to take a day to our uh, to attend but you know, back then you might probably be seeing people traveling because they have to trek or because they have to use the regular means of transportation of road they might spend more days trying to prepare for such event but now you can have an event today and live where you are today and in one hour or even 30 minutes depending on how far such location is you get to where you're going because air is available for you to use which is uh, the airplane in the same vein the use of chat gpt should help you do what you do faster and more effective in fact even more accurate which is why i'm making this video now there are different things you can use this chat gpt to do in this video i'm going to be showing you five different things you can do with chat gpt that will make your work to be really very much easy as a product manager and if this is the first time you're coming into this channel you should subscribe so you can get more of these videos that i make i talk about product leadership as well as tech career let's get started so as a pm there are several things you want to do now let's just talk about ideation so we want to talk about the product we want to come up with an idea of a product now look at how i'm going to get this done the first thing you do is to ensure that you train your model i mean just train chat gpt let's understand what you're trying to build so if you have an existing product you just have to train chat gpt to understand the kind of product you're building now look at my practical approach to this. Now let's get into chats.openai.com, which is the regular chat GPT that we all know. So all you have to do is just say, hello chat GPT, uh, chat GPT, and it answers you just like you've been doing before. I say, I am a product manager. I'm a product manager so you're trying to let him know that okay whatever you're going to answer me answer from the perspective of a product manager I'm a product manager and I want you to assist me I want you to assist me in my PM duties yeah PM duties so if I want you to assist me in my PM duties what are the things I really want to do so now let's talk about one of this kind of products so i want to build a food marketplace so when i say food marketplace i really mean a place where a user or any individual can really go and get food so there are different restaurants that are registered on this kind of platform and i want to build such platform i want chat gpt to give me suggestions and do some things i need so i'm going to be talking from the product requirement document perspective i want to build this with chat gpt so i'm starting from this so the first thing you do is you need to let chat gpt know what product you're working on and it's already asking you what type of product i'm ready to help you with different things it's going to help you with product development market research user feedback and several other things so one thing i'll just do here is i'll say um i 
want to work let me just say i am working yeah i am working on a food marketplace food market place application where i want users to come in to um to register and then get food from different registered food vendors on the application now this is a clear requirement you're trying to tell chat gpt that this is exactly what i want to do i want somebody to just come here now chat gpt kind of understand what you have just inserted here and it's letting you know that okay you're working on this kind of application and i've called it a food marketplace the first thing you might want to ask chat gpt is uh, you know can you just develop for me the product uh, the product name maybe you want to create a product name with this so you can see what is actually showing me here already but i'm just going to um, type in something what do i want to type i want to type give me suggest a product name suggest a product name that sounds very classic uh yet unique but sounds very classic very classic yet unique unique uh, suggest about 10 So you can see FQ Hub, um, Culinary Crafts, Save Sa Sa Savory Synergy, Palette Pinnacle, um, Flavor Fiesta, Colina's Fair, Tasteful Travers. Based on the prompt that you actually get into here, it can really give you any name or suggest any product name that you are looking for. So yeah, I already have um, a few things. So I want to say, uh, give me an outline for my product requirements requirements document so all the things that needs to be there i have a problem statement i have so many things i want to do so it's giving me a breakdown of how i should actually um, work on this now it's giving me the outline this is um, the product introduction so the brief overview of the food marketplace application all of this i can build it directly so when i get all of this out of the way I put it in my exact document I want to build. So let me just pick any of these things and say, brief overview of food marketplace application. Could you write, could you write extensively on this, on the below? So let me just say, concerning, so this is concerning the application so i want you to generate me a content tailored to what i am building you can add some unique things that is i mean just some unique things around your product here so it's going to give you um, an overview can you see a color okay it already gave you a name and all so this is uh ChatGPT literally giving you the answer. So this is an innovative and user-centric food marketplace application designed to redefine the way people discover, order, and enjoy exceptional food offering. Our platform serves as a bridge between designing consumers. So now, what this does for you is that whatever keyword you have in your mind or most of the things you have in your mind that, okay, that are unique to your products, you can basically impute it here and ChatGPT generates a word for you. So you don't have to sit down, type in documents, um, day in, day out, and at the very end, ChatGPT might still even do better than what you might be doing at times. So this is why you should actually engage yourself doing this. Now, this is something about you developing your product requirement document. Pick each of those steps and create different things around it based on what exactly you need. And there are other parts of product management and we're still going to be using this same product to build other parts of the application. Now that you have your product requirement document written and I believe it's still in progress. Now we want to talk about the brainstorming aspect. So product um, ChatGPT will help you 
with brainstorming you can impute so many things and ask ChatGPT what do you think um, can happen here now take for instance you want to just as you know uh, around the five different processes in design thinking by the way if you need some tutorials around design thinking i've attached uh, to the description to the video description uh, a link to some of my videos i've created in the past around design thinking so ideation happens to be the third thing you do in your design thinking which is brainstorming with your team members and you know so many other things so what are those unique features we probably want to add into our application so which is food suggestion i'm just saying i know some some applications really have this so let's put it in there i want to have food suggestion based on season suggestion based on seasons on this application then you can put in more problems that users have so uh, please factor this in my solution and how do you think i can go about about this i need you to brainstorm with me i need you to brainstorm with me these are just imaginary things i'm saying i know your product you have more ideas and more things or the unique problem your product is solving so i'm just using this as case studies like you can actually give an input into chat gpt and to help you craft it in such a better way that you you might really not be expecting so it's telling me that okay welcome this and all he said um key features dynamic season now menus so which is personalized recommendation so it's already giving you the kind of features you can impute into your product if you're doing this so vendors highlights showcase featured vendors who excel in creating seasonal specialties now support local business that prioritizes seasonal and sustainable ingredients so this is like it's tailoring the application to you in such a way that you have best of experience in terms of food suggestion because one of the problems people have is really not what to eat oh uh, it's really not the food itself but knowing what to eat is the first problem that you have to solve and this application would solve such problem for you which could be a unique selling feature or unique selling point of the application like i said it can really do a lot of brainstorming for you as a product manager if you engage it this is more like reaching out to a team member or even more team members that can do this for you as a product manager trust me if you do this how this how would this not actually affect your productivity or make it better trust me you are actually imputing what you know at the top of your head but you know sometimes dropping our ideas and bringing it out to life might take some hours even days to do but ChatGPT can really get this done for you in just a few minutes or in just a few prompts so the third one here is stakeholders communication and emails i've written emails in different tones and oh now i'm going to practicalize something to you right now so i'm going to move out of this place for now and get into uh, a new chat so I am a product manager and I want to write an email to a company who happens to be using the payment gateway. Take for instance, we have a payment platform X. Payment platform X, they are failed to, um, I mean, their services has failed us in a few days. And we want to actually let them know that their service has not been doing so well for us and we are not quite happy about this. And I can decide to just write this in different tones. Maybe I want to write it in such a way that I'm appealing with them or I'm actually, I wouldn't say threats, I wouldn't say in a harsh way, but I'm actually being firm. So I'm going to do this in different tones. So which means it can actually take the kind of emotions that you are using to write, you can bring it into chat GPT. Now let's get started. I am a product manager. I'm a product manager. I want to write an email to a third party to a pass to a partner payment partner payment that serves us their api so our so people can pay from our so people can pay from our application they have failed to deliver for a while now for a while now on some features we requested from them 
write an email in a tone to air your displeasures to air your displeasures about the incompetence incompetence from their part and how you are so uncomfortable about this nonchalant attitude as you will need to move to other vendors if they fail to meet an ultimatum of 30 days to get this api is done so you can add like the direct instance right you can add the direct instance of the api maybe the api that actually allows people to pay in dollars that allows them to pay in pounds or even use crypto so let's just say um this api is actually a payment service that allows people to pay in crypto I can generate this email in that format because I'm very, very hungry and you're writing it. Make sure my superior, or let me say, make sure you copy your superior in this kind of email or if you have a superior and you want to actually get your stakeholders to be aware. So write it in such a way that this will sit well with your company company's internal stakeholders it should have been with my company stakeholders now let's see what ChatGPT is really going to do for us now subject audience um so he's saying um addressing api development delays and setting a 30 date ultimatum now dear partners i trust this message find you i'm reaching out to discuss a matter of significant concern regarding the ongoing delays in delivery uh, in delivering the requested features of our payment api over the past few months we observed a lapse in the timeline for the completion of critical functionalities which has created considerable challenges for our team ultimately our client i want to emphasize the importance of these features for her particularly in the context of providing a seamless payment experience in cryptocurrency unfortunately the delays we have encountered have not only impacted our operation efficiency but as also giving rise to concerns among our user base i didn't tell chargibito to have this but this really looks very nice it sounds very nice like this is what was what could have been said earlier as a product manager it is my responsibility to ensure that our services align with the high standard our customer expect regrettably the consistent setback we've experienced are putting our partnership at risk we value the collaboration we've had thus far and believe in working together to overcome challenges However, we cannot overlook the impact these delays have on our business and ultimately on the satisfaction of our clients. In light of these challenges, we are left with no choice but to establish a 30-day ultimatum for the completion and implementation of the outstanding API features. We understand that unforeseen circumstances can arise during development, but it is imperative for us to have a firm commitment and a clear plan in place to move forward. Our company is at critical junction and it is essential that our partners share our commitment to delivering excellence within the stipulated 30-day period. We do not witness substantial progress and receive a detailed plan for resolution of outstanding issues. We will be forced to explore alternative sources with other vendors, with other vendors, um, who meet up our requirements more expediently. We value our partnership and believe that together we can overcome these challenges. I appreciate your prompt attention on this matter and open to schedule a call to discuss the specifics in details. Now, this is actually letting them know that we do not like your incompetence. This still kept it like respectfully enough. But what about you writing an email to your superior over something that was just done of recent? Or you can just change the tone of this. You can say, um can you rewrite can you rewrite um this email in a tone that is more of uh, pleading to ensure they do 
their work. Simply because you are left with no choice. So I'm not going to really read out this, but this will give another format of the same email. A plea of switch resolution on API development. I hope this finds you well. I'm reaching out and this API feature. It is with a heavy heart that I express our deep discomfort with the persisting delays and the impact they are having on our operators and customer satisfaction. This came in from different perspective. He still communicated the point, but the tone was different. The other, the first one says, we are going to move into another vendor by, I mean, moving partnership into two with other vendors. But this is saying, please, we really need you to do this. This, this, this is causing a lot of problems for us. It's really a hurdle we really have to, you know, cross. And this is actually how to write emails using different tools. And there are several other formats to which you can do this. You are writing to your superior or writing to your team members. You automate a different kind of plans that will ensure that you do your work so well or let me say diligently and as a matter of fact i worked in a company and someone commented like e each time I, I, I wrote some emails then uh they were always seeing that the email is always detailed and straight to the point and firm i said <laughs> Do you know what i had most of the times i was actually using chat gpt to do it because i had a context so it shouldn't be a copy and paste something but context really matters as a product manager when you're doing most of these things now we're going to be talking about use cases for this application that we're building so let's get into those use cases we want to build use cases so we should be able to build use cases and acceptance criteria even user stories to uh when you're developed i mean using chat gpt you should be able to do all of this as well for this same product we're working on could you build me could you create uh the most important use cases for me for this application for me so let's see it's going to bring up different kind of use cases look at that it's telling you number one we should have user registration and onboarding which is very important to do and it's even giving you different things okay these are the steps it's giving you the you know use cases have different kind of components alternate flow actors um the description the assumption and constraints and most of those things that you have all the alternate flow that's your use case is supposed to have and this is actually giving you everything you need so which is the next thing you do is we have use case um for user registration we have use case for browsing for food listing we have use case for search and filtering we have the seasonal recommendation don't forget i mentioned something around that and it's bringing it back to us placing orders vendor management user rating reviews order tracking accounts management customer support this is literally covering it. this may not be so holistic but this is covering a large part of what you might need to do now that you have the use cases represented one of the things I would advise that you do, so when you have your use case, you probably like start building into uh, epics and user stories. So I would represent the features with uh, the epics that we're supposed to have, but I may not really have to do epics here because I don't think it's really necessary. We can make our use case represent the epics in this context and put all the features in there. Depending on how you do it as a product manager, that's not really like the major concern of the day. So, when you have the use cases represented here for each of these use cases i want to build the, the user stories so what is the user story and the acceptance criteria i'm going to be building now for user registration and um, onboarding now let's get started what are the things we want to do so please build me uh, the user registration flow uh, i tell chat gpt to do something for me for the user registration for the user registration Please create me user stories coupled with the acceptance criteria. User stories. Let me just leave that for now. So you're going to be seeing every user story around that. So number one, as a user, oh, it's even brought the acceptance criteria out with it. Good. Now, you see, I want to create an account easily so I can start exploring the food ordering app. Now, it's giving me the acceptance criteria. User should be able to do this and that. Acceptance criteria, I mean, under user story here, as a user, I want to receive a verification email SMS after 
registration which is a cool one and it's giving me both the acceptance criteria user to sign up. so now i can actually tell it to give me to make it more i can tell it to, to make it more elaborate so when i say more elaborate take for instance for the user sign up so you can say for the user sign up for the user sign up i want the following the following information to be created to be collected rather to be collected from the users so please create and accept a detailed a detailed acceptance criteria for me you do not have to use the given when then format well that's just my choice but I, I don't want that format for now for the acceptance criteria so what are those information i want to get so i say uh, i want to get the name okay just call that full name full name email uh, address uh, phone number phone number you know password and confirm password now let's see what this is going to really give us now certainly so here are the detailed acceptance criteria for collecting user information from the sign up you can see this is saying uh the full name give me this the username and these are actually very very straightforward things it's saying there should be a clear error message if the full name is left blank or containing valid characters pick as much as possible that you want or i can still tell it I, I don't want it long like this could you just could you just just put the acceptance criteria together without separating them it is too bulky all right now look at everything i'm getting here is actually telling me users can register their full name during sign up with this system alphabetical orders it's actually giving me the right set of things i need and this is just for user registration i can create user stories my acceptance criteria for each of these things because my application is already thinking the way i am thinking as a product manager so this will make my work very fast i just create my ticket and log them into my jira clickup uh, asana notion or whatever platform that i am using and what is the last thing you can really use ChatGPT for? You can use it to set timelines. You can just say, okay, can you give me timelines for the development of this? Now, let's see what ChatGPT will give to us. Uh, can you set the project timeline for me for the roadmap? Boom! This is telling me what I can do and if I need to edit anything around this, definitely I will be able to week three, week four, week five, and I can still keep it within a time box. I want to do this within um, three months. This is going to week 28 at all. I don't think we have all of this time. So let's say, uh, please restrict this to four months. Let me just leave it at four months. So this is a condensed timeline and it will definitely put it inside for four months so all you have to do now is to just look at okay what am i supposed to do what what can we not achieve within this month and you get everything done trust me you can build a opera requirement document within a night and i hope this video has helped someone who is a product manager or let me say an aspiring product manager who is intended to come that this video is really very interesting you can get as much as possible things done you can become more effective at what you do by the use of all these tools if you love this video please share with someone that needs this and don't forget to subscribe so that you can get more of those videos each time i upload them see you in my next video bye